After seeing what he could do in the hands of those who dedicate time to mastering this hero, even Overwatch League level tracers have learned to be wary whenever flanking a Zenyatta, as they could find themselves on the receiving end of a full face of energy orbs. The unofficial Omnic Sniper was so strong that his burst damage was deemed as too high by Blizzard for unfortunate recipients of his right click, resulting in a nerf to its fire rate early this year. Now without further ado, as promised in our last Zenyatta video, we're back with a video showcasing some of our favorite plays from the third stage of the inaugural season of the Overwatch League. I'm feeling angry! Oh, okay, Neko! Down he should jump on this right away, you don't want to let this res go through, it goes through anyway though. As he would have made a good wind vein up on that high ground, but he does get resurrected Back into the fray. He's been dying first in a lot of these fights as well. It's a tough life. School of hard knocks for Mercy's out here on Junkertown. Big Goose feeling the same. It's a huge pick there from Neko. I'm gonna go charging in, but hey, gets melted immediately again. Those Discord orbs on point. Links are headshot by Chips. Chips with the big plays. Wait. Two ticks. This could be over. The Dallas didn't get back to the post there. there. It's an overtime. OG yet to be charged, and all of a sudden, the Dallas Fuel have come to life. They get a four for none fight. A trade at just the last what? moment. This point in time. Ooh. Oh, that's a big deal. Oh, oh dear. Yep, that's a lot of people dropping on the Houston side. Snello is just like, yes, Carpe's been here. And a tank in the vicinity. Cool math, though. Probably won't be around in this fight for too much longer, but there it is. Individuals, Raucus and Jake. Step up. Rock is getting himself three kills in that fight, by the way. Casual. As you like. I believe you didn't die there. Cool Matt gets D Mag, gets D Life as well. Manaton down though. Awesome guy kind of turning it up, but now Jake pulls out the Dragon Blade, cuts down the Supercharger. Oh. oh. Missed opportunity here for sure for it. Gotta be careful, doesn't want to overstay his welcome. And there's the Trance forced out. Eventually the pressure was too great, even for Jay Hong to withstand. In the meantime, his teammates making a huge out of uh, Fisher. Orbs and free damage. They're going to roll over you like that. I, I feel like it, a lot of other teams, as you see, Shaft take out art from range. A lot of other teams like, oh, you know, let's get let's get rid of the tanks. Let's get rid of, uh, you know, whether it's the Diva or the Winston. Back into this fight, but sure for and all of that chaos. Yet again, able to connect the bullet with Mr. Ted. His tank was the one with the Dragon Blade. Well, yeah, and I mean, he's the one who's supposed to mitigate soon to a certain extent as well with that Reflect, but goes out first. There's Gotaman. No more DPS for Shanghai. Fearless dives in without really any support. And Valiant with a golden opportunity to make some real progress on point B. And They've nearly got a tick already. And now, same problem. Soon is up oh, top, no. and there's just a nice job. You see the self destruct that he puts in there just buys them a second. How close the Valiant were to flipping this over, but. Two big kills. Based on a solo mission, pushing this all alone. It is one man versus two. There's a pocket. Here comes his tank buddy and fate trying to get some damage done. They're not really looking to hard engage this one if they don't have to, but now they will get into it because Kareem got Neptuno. Fraggy falls shortly after. In the 25th hour, the Valiant will take second point. It's exactly what they needed, and that might be enough to get them the point. If they can just handle the respawn, Sleepy. they are so close. Yeah, Sleepy gets killed with the oh. pulse bomb, though, so they're going to get two ticks Never out of this, mind. but Bunny will. On that, one. that was sick. That's a good read to notice that the D.Va is so low, you can start your barrage on the D.Va and then get her out of mech. That means the Matrix is gone. London stays cool, calm, and collected. Jester got the kill onto the enemy support, but he didn't try and primal uh -oh. back. And now Big Goose is sniped. That is a disaster. Disaster. Man, what a pick for Bedoshin. London just gonna waltz onto the point now and say, hey man, you don't have any mercy. I think we'll take advantage of that. Using the transcendence just to keep people safe. Even managed to leave Fury behind here to make sure that that payload isn't gonna go anywhere. Bunny trying to channel his inner suit, trying to get that back half. No, no, no. The dead eye on the high ground from Shurpor by using the primal rage. Uh, that's right, Jester coming through there. Fisher down now in London. Looks like they're gonna be able to hold this or reclaim it. And you have to imagine the game tape footage that goes into this as far as review of like, where does this other person like to play? But Doshin with the snipe though on his soon, can they camp this body and deny the res? It's looking like they did just that. You heard the, the animation going off. What is this? Uh, we'll from his perspective. Oh my God. Throwing shades, man. Oh my God. Oh, that is filthy stuff. It's true logics at the end of it. Can he get more? Trying to get Zupan, looks like he will. And New York Excelsior winning this fight in the end, dashing through Zupan. Jonak finishes the damage that Libro started. And he saves this match potentially for Soul Dynasty. NYXL thought they had it in the bag and they start to push on forward. Janus in no position to lay a bubble down for both supports. There's no Oh no, Jonak! Jonak takes Zipper out, out of mech. And aggressive here, man, trying to take out Unko. He had some help from his tanks, but man, that was bold. To be able to deal with a far of Mercy with a Junkrat Tracer on the ground because they're constantly going to be discorded is just a blessing. And look at this! Look at the vengeance! <laughs> and C4 
see what happened at the end of this one because he did get a pin here, and you'll notice, I think he picks up Sabiolby, <laughs> and then in his back with the orb of Discord, he gets smacked back by wow. Mono and then destroyed from behind. So Jonax saving his Tracer player for Libero to kill himself again. Nice wall setting up Mano for the pin. Coco, though, too low health, and Neko just runs him over. Meanwhile, Seagull, once again, the last man standing on the point. <laughs> He's Jonax right. volley at point blank is the primal rage for stalling out just in case they need more time to respawn. And New York has a lonely pulse bomb and arc oh, is staggered. No. That's going to be another uh, large amount of time that New York is without their mercy. How do you even get back to the point at this that point? That entire time. Yeah. So that's actually left Philly with quite a bit of time on point C. Yeah, they got 320 left. Boom Boom with a couple both, kills. Both DPS. Dude, this is a scary day to be a DPS. And Yada's in this match are just like, Houston, yeah, you know, put the great work. Yeah, multiple potential World Cup candidates on both of these teams, to be honest. But not all that you can do if Mistakes decides to shoot into our up. Flight up, flight up, two kills, both DPS dead now. But I don't know if they're going to be able to save this. They're sitting there at 86% right now, and the kills keep coming through. I say Sinatra's been playing very well on this map. Oh, yeah. it's, it's looked very good for him. He was the bright spot of their offense, able to push through on Jester several times. Three minutes here as London goes back to the drawing board. Let's see. Jester getting a little bit of that presence on the high ground. Now you've got Architects. Looking. Jonas, Libero, everyone's hacked up here. San Francisco Shock starting to put the pressure on now. And he goes down. SF looking pretty darn good. Jonas knocked away from the point. And Mark going to reinforce. I love it. Sick play. Poco not going to be able to contest the point. They will get the second. Bumps their time up to two minutes. 45 seconds here. Now San Francisco Shock to push through for victory to the third point. Quite a bit of damage early from Zippe. Oh, Zippe side down though, Sleep. He finds that pick. That's huge. That's what San Francisco counts on this guy to do, and he's come through for them again. But they need to win this uh, man advantage fight. Now there goes awesome guy, Dante, capitalizing. They know what's coming for them. Yep. Pick. Oh, down immediately, Sleepy with the pick. You could even, if you are really not concerned if you're Shanghai, you could even play a bar against oh this guy. Oh my lord. Gets a pick there early on Akelix. That's a huge one. That's basically half the Orisa shield as well. into the Valiant team by himself. And yeah, he's pushing people around, but you know, it's going to be the dive on the uh, Dia. A little more cognizant about where he needs to be. They're going oh. again, though. Oh, well, they chase him down. That dive worked out a bit better. Oh! I'm, I'm so sorry. Five oh, he's got him. Oh, free feel into the dance, and he gets oh, yeah. another one. Okay, know, you do not, that fight. You yep. do not expect that Zenyatta to be up there. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. But... If you like this video, we have other Overwatch League specific hero highlights on our channel as well, if you haven't already seen them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share as it really helps out the channel quite a lot. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all of our content, and hit that bell to stay notified. This has been Darren from Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.